Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host and in today's news, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's departure with Joel from royal life was months in the planning, but still shocked the world. While well, the couple made it clear they were unhappy with the state of things during their tour of Africa last autumn, there's still much speculation as to what prompted the decision. ABC documentary Royal Divide, Harry, Meghan and the Crown interview royal, interviews royal experts, media pandits and friends of the couple about the royal split. One argument is that the US native and former actress Meghan found royal life restrictive compared to her former freedom. American Julie Montagu uprooted nearly two decades ago when she left the States to marry a British aristocrat. Miss Montague empathizes with Meghan's situation more than most. Speaking in the program, she said, Meghan is not to blame for having been naive about what to expect. She said, I've got to be honest, you don't know until you're in it. You can't attest to that. Huh. I'm gonna say again. Miss Montague said, I have got to be honest, you don't know until you're in it. I can attest to that. Miss Montague's claim, Ms. Montague claims Meghan may have found royal family ways restrictive after her American upbringing. She said, as an American, we have been brought up from day one. You're, you are told you can do anything you want to do. You can be anything you want to be. All of a sudden, Meghan has moved over there. She can't be anything she wants to be anymore. She can't do anything she wants to do anymore. Meghan claims, Montague claims Meghan could have found becoming a member of a thousand-year-old institution crippling in contrast to her Hollywood life. She added, I think it can be suffocating for somebody who is an American and their whole life was spent working towards becoming this TV actress, having passions in her life, and all of a sudden going into a much more claustrophobic world where it's what's going to happen now. You can't be political. You can't be emotional. You can't have opinions. Other interviews in the show suggested the decision was as much fueled by Harry as it was by Meghan. One of Harry's long-term pals, Nacho Figueres, claimed Harry does not deal well with being judged. Said, I spoke to Harry a few days ago. He has suffered a lot from all of the things that have happened to him. He suffers a lot from people judging him. Harry's wish to protect baby Archie is another key reason for the family's withdrawal, according to Mr. Figueres. He added, he's being a father a guy who is trying to protect his cub and his lioness from whatever it takes. He has become an incredible man, a man that his mother would be proud of. According to Mr. Figueres, Harry wants nothing more to do, more than to lead a normal life. He added, he wants to live a normal life, as normal as his life is going to be, right? Because when you have a thousand paparazzi outside your house in Canada, waiting to get one picture of your son, that's not very normal. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you next video.